In Mario Galaxy 2's Throwback Galaxy, you'll notice this wall in Mom's Fortress is broken, which indicates that Mario canonically collected the star Blast Away the Wall. This got me thinking, can we figure out any other canonical stars, and if so, how many? Well, hello, I'm Sam, and today I'm here to show you every canonical star from Mario 64. Starting off with bob -omb Battlefield, we can confirm two stars. Given Koopa the Quick's dialogue from Tiny Huge Island, we know that Mario must have raised Koopa the Quick in bob -omb Battlefield. Koopa the Quick only spawns in bomb on Battlefield if Mario has collected the star Big bomb on on the Summit, so we can confirm that star's canon alongside Foot Race with Koopa the Quick. For Womp's Fortress, I already mentioned the star Blast Away the Wall, but in order to get the canon unlocked to complete Blast Away the Wall, Mario needs to complete Ship Off Womp's Block and to the top of the fortress. For Jolly Roger Bay, we can see that the ship is floating on top of the water during the credits, which means Mario must have canonically completed Plunder in the Sunken Ship at some point. The end credits is actually where we'll be getting most of our information from, as it basically remains the same no matter what you do. Biggest difference being which stars are grayed out, although there are a couple of other subtle differences if you collect all 120 stars. We can see the completed snowman in Cool Cool Mountain, which not only indicates that Mario collected Snowman Foster's head, but also four more stars. Flip Sliding Away, Little Penguin Lost, Big Penguin Race, and Frosty Slide for 8 red coins. This is because the game requires you to collect those four stars before the snowman body spawns for the fifth star. The basement area only has one canon star, that being from Dire Dire Docks. Mario must have completed the star Board Bowser's Sub, as it's the only star you are required to collect if you want to beat the game. Unless you use glitches, of course. In Snowman's Land during the credits, we can see Mario on the ice bridge leading to the star Snowman's Big Head, so I think it's pretty safe to say he collected that star. Taking a quick break from the credits, let's look at the Mario 64 DS microgame from WarioWare Move It. This microgame can depict Mario collecting three stars depending on the difficulty. The Princess's Secret Slide, Flip Side and Away, which we already covered, and Mysterious Mountainside, so I think it's safe to say that these are all canon stars. Going back to the credits, Mysterious Mountainside isn't the only canon star from Taltal Mountain, as this Ukiki on top of the mountain is only spawned in if Mario first completes the star Scale the Mountain. Tiny Huge Island gives us two stars, as we can see that Koopa the Quick is spawned in and he only appears if Mario has completed Pluck the Piranha Plower and Tip Top of the Huge Island. And our final canon star is from TikTok Clock. It's hard to tell with the camera angle, but this is the area right in front of the star, the Pit and the Pendulum. So in total, we were able to confirm 19 stars as canon, a far cry from the 70 needed to complete the game, but still a solid number. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you next time. Mmm, bye.